practical number 5 of digital technique subject is design of half adder and half subtractor using boolean expressions in this practical we are going to perform two different things in first case we will design a simple half adder circuit and we will verify its root table in second part of the experiment we will design half subtractor circuit and again we will verify the root table of half subtractor circuit now before going into the actual practical part let me explain you some theoretical concepts what do you mean by half adder so a half adder is composed of one xor gate and one and gate that produces two binary outputs from two binary inputs it means that it has two inputs here these two inputs are named as a and b and addition of a and b is uh, considered or addition of a and b is performed and the result is sum and the carry generated it adds it adds two one bit binary numbers a and b are one bit binary numbers and the output is in the form of sum which is indicated by s and carry which is c the c output is one only when both inputs are one we know that carry is generated only in the case when a as well as b are one and one respectively for all the cases remaining cases no carry is generated as far as trainer kit is concerned you will see that there are different sections this section is input section we can apply input from this section these are various sections where different ic's can be hold we have used one xor ic and one and gate ic as far as output is concerned output can be observed in this part and output is observed on the leds if led is in on condition it means it means that we have got the output as one if led is in off condition it means that output is zero now let us move to the actual circuit diagram here here you will find that 7486 which is xor gate is used and 7408 which is and gate ic it is used the purpose of 7486 is to generate or calculate sum while 7408 is used to find out the carry as in the diagram you can see that these different ic's this is 7486 and this is 740 these are called to input xor gate this is also called to input and gate it means that inside the ic four different xor gates are there but for our experiment we will require only a single gate same is the case with this ic as far as connection goes pin number 1 and pin number 2 which are connected through these red wires they are connected to input switches means through these switches we can apply the input to the xor gate similarly these two black wires they are also connected to the same input pins and they are given input to the second ic which is 7408 that is and ic it means that as this figure goes first input a is given to the pin number 1 of xor gate as well as this input is given to one of the pins of and gate same is the case with second input it is given to one of the pins of xor gate as well as it is given to the one of the inputs of and gate so that's why from two inputs four wires are connected two red wires are the two inputs for xor gate and two black wires forms the inputs to the and gate as far as output is concerned the output of xor gate here three number pin is connected with the help of this lo wire to this output that is output number 2 it is nothing but the sum generated so this led will indicate this led will indicate sum as far as carry is concerned carry is nothing but the output of and gate so pin number 3 of this ic it is the output of and gate and it is connected to output pin and it is indicated with the help of led l1 so this l1 will indicate the carry generated and l2 will indicate 
the sum now let us go through the various combinations of inputs so we will form one observation table the first case is a is 0 as well as b is 0 if you look at these two switches they are in op position it means that a is 0 b is 0 in that case in that case you will find that here sum and carry both these leds are in off condition means sum is 0 and carry is also 0 so i will note it down sum is 0 and carry is 0 so this first row is verified next is a is 0 and b is 1 so in this case a is 0 and b is made 1 so i have applied 1 to the b input now as far as output is concerned you will find that sum is 1 because this led is in on condition and carry is 0 so sum is 1 and carry is 0 so 0 plus 1 sum is equal to 1 and there is no carry generated that's why second condition is also verified moving further now let us apply 1 to the a input and 0 to the b input so 1 is applied to the a and 0 is applied to the b in output section this sum is equal to 1 because this led is in on condition and this led which indicates the status of carry it is in off condition it means that sum is equal to 1 and carry is equal to 0 so sum is equal to 1 and carry is equal to 0 manually we can verify it 1 plus 0 is equal to 1 with no carry so third combination is also verified and finally we will apply both inputs as 1 1 so first input is already 1 second is also made 1 as far as output is concerned here you can observe that sum is 0 because this LED is in off condition and the LED which indicates carry it, it is in on condition it means that there is a carry generated so sum is 0 and carry is equal to 1 so sum is 0 and carry is equal to 1 manually verifying it 1 plus 1 is equal to 0 is the sum and 1 is the carry so by applying different possible combination of inputs you can verify the status of sum and carry on this leds so that's it all about half adder circuit The second part of X practical number 5 is design of half subtractor circuit. As far as half subtractor goes, it means that it is subtracting two different numbers. First is A, second is B and as a result, it is producing outputs as difference, which is nothing but the answer we got after performing A minus B operation and the borrow got. So it means that half subtractor has two inputs first input a which is also called as minor end second input b which is also called as subtrahend and we have to perform a minus b operation as a result we, we are getting two different outputs first output is indicating the difference between a and b and second output indicates the borrow generated by perform after performing a minus b operation this diagram shows you what are the hardware requirements you will find that here one xor gate is needed one not gate is needed and one and gate is needed as far as detailed circuit diagram is concerned here it is shown that 7486 ic which is the ic for xor gate it is used to perform this uh, subtraction and to generate a result in the form of difference Similarly, 7408, which is AND IC, it will help you to generate the borrow, but here it will require the help of one NOT gate. So, in short, I will require three different ICs, IC 7486 to generate difference, IC 7408 and NOT gate means IC 7404. So, these three different ICs will be required, output will be indicated in the form of LED and these two inputs 
A and B, they are fed to these inputs of the IC with the help of the switches. Let us move to the actual connection part. Now, these three ICs which I have used, this is 7, 4, 8, 6, which is XOR gate, which will help you to generate the difference. This is 7408 AND gate IC and this is 7404 which is NOT IC. So these two IC will help us to generate the borrow. Now as far as connection goes, you will find that each IC is a 14 pin IC and out of those 14 pins, pin number 7 is ground pin. So this pin number 7 is connected to ground. Again, the pin number 7 of second IC is connected to ground. Pin number 7 of third IC, not, not IC, is connected to ground. Same is the case with VCC pin. Pin number 14 of each IC is VCC pin. So this is pin number 14 and this is connected to VCC. Similarly, this is VCC pin of second IC. That is pin number 14 is connected to VCC. And as far as last IC goes, again pin number 14 is connected to VC. Even if you find the number 20 here, but I have inserted a 14 pin IC into 20 pin socket. So that's why instead of 20, you can read it as a pin number 14. So this is all our power supply connection. Now as far as circuit diagram goes, in this diagram you will find that A is not only given to X or IC, but it is also one part of it is given to the NOT gate and it is fed to the AND gate. Same is the case with B. B is given to the second input of XOR gate and it is also given to the one of the inputs of this AND gate. Inputs are given from this section. These two red wires which are at the bottom, these two red wires are connected as the inputs to the XOR gate. Pin number 1 and pin number 2, these are the inputs of XOR gate. In this figure, you can see that pin number 1 and pin number 2, these are the inputs of XOR gate. So, this is all about the input of XOR gate. Output of XOR gate, which is pin number 3, it indicates different. So, pin number 3, it is connected with yellow wire to the output section and this LED will indicate the difference. It is the part of result. So this is all about the first section. As far as second section goes, you will find two more black wires are connected to same input pins. And these pins, as far as pin, um, pin first pin is concerned, that is pin A, it is given to the input of NOT gate. So this black wire, that is pin A, it is given to the input of NOT gate. This is NOT gate IC. So pin A is given as input to NOT gate like it is shown here. Output of NOT gate is given as input to AND gate. This is output of NOT gate and it is given as one of the inputs of AND gate. And as far as second input of AND gate is concerned, it is pin number 2. So this pin number 2 is given as second input. So let me repeat it once again. This IC has two inputs. This IC also has two inputs, but one input comes directly from B section and another input comes through the inverter. So in total, we are using XOR gate, AND gate and NOT gate. Here also you will find that this is XOR gate IC, IC7486. This is AND gate IC, IC7408 and this is NOT gate IC, IC7404. These two outputs, this yellow wire indicates the difference and this second output which is nothing but the borrow generated after performing the subtraction. Now let us write the observation table. First possible combination of inputs is A is 0 and B is 0. Here you will find that this switch is also in off condition and second switch is also in off condition. It means that I have applied A as a 0 and B as a 0. What output I am getting? I am getting difference as a 0 because this LED is off and borrow generated it is also 0. So the difference obtained is 0 and 
borrow is also zero now moving further second possible combination is a is zero and b is one so a is zero let me make b as one so zero one is the input now what i am also doing here difference is equal to one and borrow is also equal to one so difference is one and borrow is of is also one so when you perform zero minus one operation you get one as a output and borrow is also one so this is also verified next possible combination is a is one and b is zero so a is one and b is zero what i am getting here i am getting difference as one and borrow as zero so difference is equal to one and borrow is equal to zero here you can manually verify one minus zero output is one and as one minus zero one is higher number and zero is smaller number there is no borrow generated so borrow generated is zero and the last possible combination is when both inputs are one so a is one b is also one in that case you will find that the difference is zero and borrow is also zero so difference is zero and borrow is zero one minus one you get zero as answer and there is no borrow generated thus you can perform the full adder sorry half adder as well as half subtractor circuit by using this trainer kit the inputs section will provide the inputs to the gates by turning these switches into off or on position you can change the input and outputs can be observed on this led led is in off condition indicates output as a zero led in on condition indicates that output is equal to one thank you